Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the Kettlebell Two-Handed Dead Clean to Front Double Hand Rack. This exercise has a weird name because names in kettlebell training tend to describe exactly what the athlete is doing. That way you don't have to make up a bunch of weird names about what and how things mean. It's a two-handed pickup to a double front rack. This exercise falls just a little bit outside of what you would consider the classic six movements of kettlebell training. The swing, the swing clean, the snatch, the press, the get up, and the squat. This exercise falls into the category of like a dead power clean. Dead means the kettlebell will be starting on the ground with no kinetic or potential energy. We will do a hip snap up and we will catch the weight with two hands underneath the weight. This exercise can freak people out a little bit in the beginning because they're letting go of the bell and then re-catching it. Start learning this with a lightweight first. If you start with a lightweight, it helps people psychologically learn the catch so that they can move to a heavy weight. Step up to your kettlebell, two feet pointed straight ahead. This is a little bit different than other types of exercise because the bell can stay between our feet. It can track in a different path than things like barbells can. Thumbs point towards the sky, thumbs point forward. Get down, grab the handle with two hands. Stand up fast with the hip to the full standing position. Get your hands underneath the weight. The goal is to have the bell travel straight up and not to hit ourselves in the teeth with the handle. Kettlebell vertical in the catch. To put it down, take your hands out from under the bell, catch it, straight arms, all the way down. Let's do it faster, all the way up, catch, drop, catch, touch all the way down. Lift it up, catch, drop, straight arms, touch it all the way down. If it's really heavy, the catch to straight arms has to happen fast. If you try to stop in this midpoint, which we do to demonstrate in teaching, people will end up hurting themselves. Get underneath, catch straight arms, then settle down and absorb weight using the big muscles of the hips. Pick it up, catch, drop, touch. Pick it up, catch, drop, touch. Pick it up, catch, drop, touch. Pick it up, catch drop touch at the top straighten your legs all the way out squeeze your glutes that protects your lower back drive your rib cage down think of this as what we would call a hard style catch at the top you're trying to catch with an iron body straight legs strong glutes abs on try to get your elbows as close together as possible as long as the corners of your hands are under the bell, the bell is being supported by the vertical bones of your arm, then it's okay. Play with the distance between the elbows, but struggle to try to get the elbows closer together over time. This is a power exercise. The faster the bell moves up and the faster you get underneath it, the better it will go. When you drop it, get out from underneath it, catch it, straight arms, and then absorb with the hips. Step up to that bell, track straight down, grab the handle, weight back in the heel. Athletes will recognize this as the beginning of something like a box jump. Power up, but don't leave the ground with the heels. Get underneath the weight, catch. Drive your hips forward to squeeze the glutes, straight legs, drop the weight. Get up, catch, get down. Get up, catch, get down, get up, catch, get down, get up, catch get down. Normally with kettlebells, we do what's called a swing clean because most kettlebell training is based off of a swing, a swing clean, and a swing snatch. Point your thumb towards the sky, point your thumb down. The L of your hand goes to the corner or the L of the kettlebell. Push the weight back, clean. Push the weight back, clean. Push the weight back, clean. A swing clean is curve linear. You will see that there is an arc of the bell this two-handed dead clean is a straight line exercise, which is like a barbell exercise. The kettlebell travels generally straight up and straight down. So both of these exercises are cleans. We tend to put the kettlebell swing clean into the category of more valuable because it allows people to lift for longer periods of time. 
And that is the point of kettlebells. Endurance weightlifting, learning to not let the kettlebell touch the ground for five, 10, 20, 30, 60 minutes. This straight up and down exercise is more like a barbell exercise. It can be done for long periods of time because it is an intermediate weight, but it falls more into the category of a barbell power clean. So this exercise can be done with heavier and heavier weights. The most important thing is that when you catch, you're not tipping the handle towards you because the handle will end up directly in front of your teeth. How you do that pull matters. Do not track it towards your face at all. If the handle is off, your line is off. Pay attention to your line because dental surgery is very expensive.